Well, our Pakistan's government says it's seeking to put an end to U.S. drone strikes on the country's northwest region. Islamabad says it will raise the issue with America's top diplomat, John Kerry, when he visits Islamabad next month. Sartaj Aziz, an advisor to Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif, has told Parliament that Islamabad has filed a protest with Washington over the attacks. He says the new government sees assassination drone strikes in violation of Pakistan's sovereignty and national integrity. Official data shows the U.S. has carried out at least 270 drone raids in the country's tribal regions since 2010, with hundreds of people dead and thousands more injured. The latest of such attacks was on June 7th, when at least 30 people were killed in North Waziristan. Washington claims the strikes target militants, but figures released by independent rights groups show most of the dead are civilians, many of them women and children. Let's discuss this more with uh, a guest from Kansas, uh, Professor Liagat Ali Khan. Welcome to the program, sir. Professor, the, Pac the new Pakistani administration uh, it wants an end to these drone strikes. Just how serious can it be, do you think? I think the Pakistani government uh, and the Prime Minister uh, Nawaz Sharif, uh, they are very serious to, uh, to stop uh, these drone attacks. And the government in the northern province, uh, Pakhtunkhwa, they also want the drone attacks to stop. There's a lot of opposition among the people of Pakistan to stop these drone attacks. But I'm afraid the United States is not going to agree to stop these drone attacks. They might reduce the number of drone attacks, but a complete ban on drone attacks is not going to happen. But I mean, I mean, uh, how how much can the seriousness be put to practice? I mean, uh, will Pakistan stop providing uh, America its airspace, for example? Well, I think Pakistan government has very few options to uh, to react to drone attacks. I mean, what possibly can they do? I think the first option option is that they can shoot it down. Now, that would be not acceptable to the United States. So they can shoot it down. Number two, that they can, you know, stop diplomatic relations. They can stop. I mean, I don't know what options they have. So they can simply protest, unfortunately, unless they become, you know, hostile to the United States and they become their enemy, which is not going to happen. So I think the United States knows that Pakistani government does not have any real options but simply to protest. Well, I mean, so, so because of that, uh, drone attacks are very popular in the United States because they minimize, uh, you know, American casualties. There is no cost associated to it. So it seems like the United States is not going to stop drone attacks, unfortunately. Well, I mean, can Pakistan take illegal action against the United States? For example, take the case to the international court, because this is against international law, the, the, the drone strikes. Well, I think that the United States has not accepted the jurisdiction of the International Court of Justice. And therefore, if Pakistan goes, the United States would simply not be under the jurisdiction of the court. So that option is also unavailable. Indeed. Except that, you know, United States voluntarily agree uh, to do it. And then Pakistan is also afraid that the United States might cut off their economic aid. They might ask uh, the World Bank and International Monetary Fund to cut off loans to Pakistan. So the cost is very high. I mean, remember, the United States is a hegemon. And it can, you know, force countries to do what it wants them to do. Indeed. Well, we'll leave it there for the time. Many thanks, sir, to Professor Liagat Ali Khan from Kansas. Thanks for your time there, sir.